What's up? So we got Co we what's up? Cobra Kai here and today we got a video on Johnny Lawrence. Says yeah, since my calendar my Cobra Kai calendar has now switched from Robbie, which was February, to Johnny, which is March, I decided to do a video on Johnny. Yeah. So yeah, so we will be recapping Johnny's history. From the bully from Cobra Kai to a fought from the bully of Cobra Kai to Sensei of Cobra Kai to Sensei of Eagle Fang to Cove to father figure of Miguel. So we will be looking at it all in this video of uh, Cobra Kai Karate. So today, so Johnny was born to all to Laura Lawrence and some random guy who we will never meet again, who we will never see again. But but when Johnny was seven, his mom met, met and ended up marrying Sid, who kind of wasn't the best stepfather. He was rich, he was, and he put down Johnny at any chance he could. So, so, one day when Johnny went to look for Cobra, when, when Johnny went to look, went to go to, went, yeah, he got on his bike, he ended up seeing Cobra Kai Dojo for the first time. And when he, he was excited about this, so he went to tell Sid and his mom, but his mom was like, yeah, Johnny, you can do it. But Sid was like, ha, really? You're not, you're not a good fighter. Sid was just a horrible person to Johnny. So that's why Johnny, that's why yeah, that's why it's kind of, yeah, Johnny you know, that's why Johnny looked, Johnny kind of thought Crease as his father figure because his actual father was gone. His stepfather was an absolute jerk wad to him and and so yeah, so of course but Crease but yeah, it's also unknown if Johnny's parent, if his mom or Sid ever attended any of his tournaments or or paid for his money. We know that he paid for his money when he jo when he joined Cobra Kai, but we never knew if any but we'll never know if any of his parents his mom didn't his mom did yeah, we don't even know prior to Daniel if his mom if his mom joined it. So yeah. So so yeah, so Johnny's friend Tommy had a crush on Allie. But as we learned. And but so when John but when she started dating Johnny and Johnny joined Cobra Kai, he joined Cobra Kai too, as long with Bobby and Robbie. Rob Bobby and I think Robbie, I don't know the Ron. I think it was Ron. They all joined Cobra Kai and they basically became the bullies of the school. Yeah, but Johnny started dating Allie. But but Johnny decided to not decided to go out partying with his friends, which caused him to which caused him to miss Allie's birthday party. So Allie was like, Yeah, we over bro. And that's when Daniel LaRusso came into the picture. Daniel LaRusso was a new kid from Jersey who who ha who happened yeah. A new kid from Jersey who happened to have a crush on Allie. But Johnny, looking to go back with Allie, kind of became Daniel's antagonist. He he bullied Daniel at school. He bullied Daniel at school. He and his Cobra Kai buddies kicked in, kicked Daniel off his bike. He even but when, he even smiles at Daniel when Daniel attempts to join Cobra Kai. So that's he bows and she's like, 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 <laughs> he bows to his students and just like, to he looks at Daniel and just like, like, what does that even mean? Does that mean like, yeah, that guy is just like, yeah, so he basically tells Chris lies or something. So Daniel, so Daniel, so yeah, so Miyagi, so later that, so later that day, so later that, so like, a few months later, Daniel decides to get revenge on Johnny by soaking him with, by soaking him with water. But, 
Yeah. Yeah. If Gideon would have done this, he could just love Johnny alone and none of this would have happened. But nope. He does this. Johnny chases after him. They beat up Daniel until Mr. Miyagi shows up. My man Miyagi, R.I.P. to Pat Maria. But my man Miyagi was amazing. And they beat him up. Yeah. So, yeah. So, Daniel. So, yeah. So. So, yeah. So, Daniel and Joe. So, yeah. So, they make a deal to. Yeah, there's a lot of deleted scenes where they. Where John. Where Daniel. Where Daniel and Johnny. Like. Where Daniel and Johnny have, like, a fight. Where they. You know. Where Daniel. Make, where Johnny makes Daniel. Sit on a pie, and then John Daniel drops cake on, puts cake on Johnny, and that causes them to a fight. And there's also another deleted scene where John, where Daniel's like, "Huh, really? Is this what you really want? Is your sensei right now?" And he's like, "Shut your mouth." He calls him an ass. He's like, "Shut your mouth, ass." So yeah. I understand why these deleted scenes were deleted. They did reference them in Karate Kid and Cobra Kai Season 4. There's a lot of deleted scenes that were referenced in Cobra Kai Season 4 from the Karate Kid, which is a very interesting plot point that the Cobra Kai writer put, thing, thing, put things in a mo put deleted scenes in a montage. So, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, they decided to not so it's the tournament, and so it's the tournament, and when Johnny wins all of his messages, so Daniel, with an intro light, decides to feed Johnny, and John, and sent, and and Chris is like sweeps like, and he's like, what? And he's like, do you have a problem with that? And he's like, no sense. So he tempts, so he sweeps John. He injures Daniel even more, but. But Daniel was able to crank kick him, defeating Johnny. But Johnny said, "You're all, you're, you're all right, Russo. And that's how the first film ends. So the second film, it, it only has this Johnny for like a bit. Then he just, then he just disappears. So the, so after the karate, after the John, Daniel was turning, Daniel and Miyagi see Johnny berating and trying to choke out Johnny. But that's when Miyagi saves him. And that's the last we see with Johnny. We, okay, we know that Johnny party, that after that, Johnny would party right through his 20s and through his 30s and through his, and he, he had a, he got a girl pregnant, which happened to be Shannon Keen, and they had a son together named Robbie Swayze Keen. And Johnny never appeared in Robbie's life. He, his, yeah, so Robbie's mom died. So yeah, we know Daniel's. We know Johnny's mom died off screen in two thousand two, so Dan that's when Robbie was born. So Dan so Johnny was too busy on a, getting drunk to show up to his mom. Yeah, so Sid and Johnny were now stuck with each other. Johnny's mom, the only person that defended Johnny from Sid, was taken away from him. So now he has no one to. Now he has no one to defend him from Sid's insults. But, yeah, but he has, you know, it's not known what she died of, what Johnny's mom died of. She just died, and they don't even explain it. Like, Johnny never explains, like, hey, she died of this, or she died of that. He's just like, his mom passed away. That's all he says. He doesn't say, like, she died of this or that. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, anyway, what happens is, so, anyway, so, John, so, <clears throat> so, yeah, so, after that, we see Johnny in, co so, anyway, after that, Johnny move, moves, Johnny gets a job, Johnny gets a job, so, after that, Johnny quits Cobra Kai, he never appears again, he never, he does yeah, He's led to believe that Kreese was killed. He was led to believe that John Kreese was dead. So, yeah. Don't already heard this, but it wasn't true. 
Don't worry, we never find out why he thought this way. Was it that John Chris was dead to him or someone led him to believe that? We never find out why he thought that John Chris was dead. John Chris was alive, but we never find out. Like he just says, when an episode, in Cobra Kai season one, episode seven, he says, John Chris is dead. But he just doesn't say, oh, he's dead from this or how he found out. He's just like, he's dead. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. So anyway. So then let's. Then we flash forward to Cobra Kai season one. Where Rajani is a down his luck drunk who. Has a job but when he misplaces the TV on the wrong side of the, his client's wall. He gets fired. So now without a job and re, re and he's also too busy living in the old days of the eighties. He's he's still an eighties kid. He's not modernized. He's not he's not like he's not into he's not like he doesn't know about all all the modernization, but he does have dislike for one person and that's Daniel. Even though in the first film he said you're all right but in but what did Daniel do to get Johnny to dislike him? Who knows? He in the final film, in the final scene in Cobra Cry Kid Part One, Cry Kid One, he's just like he hands him the trophy, saying, "You all right, Larusso? You're all right." But now in this movie, he's just like. But then in this show, he's just like, mm, Daniel, not another one of his billboards. Like, what caused you to dislike this guy so much? It's never explained. I guess he's still mad at Daniel for stealing his girl and Allie for going near Dan running over to Daniel. It's never explained why he's back to disliking Daniel even on the first film at the end of it. He was like, You're all right, Lou so you're all right. Yeah. Well, So, anyway, 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 back to, back to, so, yeah, so, Johnny meets Miguel for the first time. My boy, my boy, Miguel Diaz, my boy, he's the best, he's the best character, and he meets Miguel for the first time, and, obviously, 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 he doesn't like Miguel. So, yeah. So, and, so, John, so, yeah. So, anyway, but anyway, back to the episode itself. So, so, yeah. So, back, so, anyway. Then they, so then Johnny decides to go, go to go to a convenience, go to a convenience store. Decides to go to a convenience store where, where he sees Miguel getting beat up by Kyler and his cronies or minions or whatever they are. And Johnny tries to fight them after he they slam Miguel into his Firebird. But but yeah, after they slam after he's. They slam Miguel into his firebird. He's like, hey, and he fights all of them, but the cops come. Miguel tries to say he didn't do anything, but the cops still arrest him. So, Sale, Sale, Sid, why does he say Sale? Sid bails him out of jail, but he still doesn't care about Sid. And he and Sid's just like, hey, what about your son, Robbie? What is he, 14, 15? And he's just like, yeah, get out of here, Sid. Yes. He's like, yeah, here, Sid, and Sid. Yeah. And he looks at a, it looks at a picture of Johnny's mom, saying, uh, I have to look at, I have to look at, he has to look after her kid. Yeah, so Johnny leaves, but Miguel tries to pursue him, saying, hey, why don't you open up cry to And he's like, no, I'm not, I have to cry anymore, anymore, and I'm not even supposed to be in, like, 10 feet of you, so, bye, but, yeah, so he drives home, 
flashback about the eighties when when he was an alley and and for some reason Johnny does so yeah. So then what happens is is that he so Sam, you know how much I don't like her. Sam, Yasmin, and Moon. I like Moon. Yasmin's okay. But in this season, she was the worst. But in season three, she came back. And I think I think she's one of the best characters. Moon will always be the best character. But Sam... So some people have... I'm just going to say it. Some people like Sam. But I, I, I think she's okay. She just has... She just ha does bad things. Like, she... But, Yasmin bumps in Johnny's car, and she doesn't tell her parents about it. She just drives off as Johnny yells at them, so he's forced to go after coming here. So he's so he's forced to go into Johnny's. So he's forced to go into Daniel's company. Bam, bam, Daniel or so, but he doesn't want to do it. But he's forced to. But then Daniel, but then Daniel. For some reason, brings up that he kicks his face. Like, bro, why would you do this, Daniel? Why would you, why would you bring this up? I know that Louis and Anoush mentioned that he beat him in the karate tournament, but, but, and then Johnny mentions about how it was an illegal kick, and it's just like, so yeah, and yeah. So with his car. So yeah, so so when Daniel mentions uh, how, uh, huh, how how you know about how he's you know, wait sorry, about how Dan, about how John Cobra got Cobra Kai's back. Johnny gets even with Daniel by go, going up with Miguel saying, "I'll be your sensei." So season so episode two starts off. I'm not gonna mention it by episode, but I'm just gonna say. This episode, next episode starts off with Daniel training, with Johnny training Miguel, and Johnny training Miguel. Yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, so Johnny trains Miguel, Daniel tries to, I'm just gonna, like, you know, they get a new member name, they get Aisha, they get Eli, and then Johnny has a full pack dojo. So, yeah, so he also has a comp, as I said before in my Robbie video, watch that. He has a complicated relationship with his son, Robbie. Because, as I said in the, my Robbie video, and I said in this video, Robbie, Ro Johnny wasn't there for Robbie. Johnny wasn't there for Robbie most of his life. So, Robbie resents the fact that his dad abandoned him when he was just a baby to drink. So, yeah. So, Dan so yeah. So, when Johnny, when Dan... So yeah, so Robbie, I'm going to mention Robbie in this. Robbie decides to get, okay, I'm going to say that Robbie, Dan, Johnny and Daniel are bond. When, when Louie blows it, when, as I said, Johnny tries to get into the All Valley. He does get into the All Valley, but then, but yeah, but yeah, so Rob, but Cobra Kai, but we you know, but Louie and his mo motorcycle gang blow up Johnny's car, so he's forced to, so he's forced. So he's forced to. Yeah, he reveals that Sam. He's he reveals that Sam's the one that blew up his car. Sam's the one that crashed his car to begin with, and that's why he had to get it fixed. So yeah. Yeah. He mentioned that. So then what happens? It, yeah. So then what happens? Yeah. So. Then what happens is, is, what happens is, is that, jo is that, you know, jo Johnny finds out that Daniel, that Daniel is training his son, and, yeah, so in the Coral, on the only tournament, da actually, Cobra Kai wins the tournament, but they win at the cost of Robbie's arm, and Robbie joins up with Miyagi, though, so, it's, Poor win because now Johnny's realizing that he's turned a bunch of good kids into a bunch of bullies, and that's what he didn't want. He's basically made his Cobra Kai and decreased his Cobra Kai, where he's turned them into a bunch of bullies, but he didn't want that. So now he has to steer the he has to steer the ship of Cobra Kai back into the right direction, but that's 
but that's when Chris comes back. Yeah, Chris comes back, and he he kind of pretends like, oh, I want to work with you, Johnny. But nope, he's. But in reality, he's just trying to get back Cobra Kai for himself. So, so yeah, so John, so yeah, so and to tell, yeah, so we get the episode where Tori joins up. Then we get the episode where it's a co 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 or OG Cobra Kai reunion. Then Tommy dies. Then Johnny comes back to realize that Creed has taken over his Cobra Kai and fills his kids with, with bad stuff. So he kicks Creed out. Oh, yeah. But, so, yeah. So he tries to, Miguel tries to show Johnny how to go on a dating app. Because remember, Johnny's an 80s kid. And when, back in the 80s, there was no thing that says dating apps or internets or phones or anything. So, or I think, no, I think there were phones. I just don't think they were dating apps. So Johnny doesn't know how to date. So Miguel shows him how. And he ends up bonding with this one girl. But he chose, but he kind of, Messes it up by choosing Carmen because Carmen's boy. He discuss he's in a bar and he discovers that Carmen's boy, Miguel's mom's boyfriend, is talking bad about her. So so he tells her to leave her alone. And yeah, and they make yeah they make out. But then in the school fight, John in the school fight, Miguel gets injured. Tori becomes a villain. Chris takes Cobra Kai from Johnny. Chris takes Cobra Kai from Johnny. Johnny's now. Johnny denounces his phone. And now he sends him that friend request. So in season three, what happened? Chris. Johnny's on a bender. They try to find Robbie after Robbie kicked Miguel off the railing. Johnny now tries to help Miguel back get back on his feet while also rekindling his relationship with Carmen that was almost destroyed in the finale. Uh, um, what else? That was destroyed in the finale. Um, yeah, they get back together. So Karma, Carmen, Johnny, Carm, John, Car. Carm Lawrence is back on. Allie comes back for an episode and makes Johnny and Daniel realize that Johnny and Daniel realize that they're both the same. Johnny finally gets a new dojo named Eagle Fang, which is a badass name, even though it's kind of funny and ridiculous and not as cool, but that's cool because it's badass. And yeah, so then Johnny and Daniel agree to work together to so 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 yeah and also Robbie joins up with Chris because now that Johnny's betrayed him Johnny he has money to do with Johnny and he feels that Daniel betrayed him by sending him to jail he goes to the only person he can Chris he just he, he's just yeah so then so then what happens in season four John Daniel Jan what happened in season four? Terry Silver comes back. Johnny finally meets Terry Silver. Johnny, Daniel, and Terry get a re get a re Jan Daniel gets a re gets a rematch. Yeah, they get a rematch. It's it's really it's kind of really ridiculous. It's kind of dumb that they both fall on the floor. And that cause and the hawk get you know hawk being turned back into Eli causes the the gang to split up. So, so yeah, but so yeah, so so yeah, so Miguel's now feeling weird that you know John, that you know yeah, so so Carmen finally goes Car Carmen Johnny finally get finally tell Miguel that they're an item. We learn more of Johnny's past, as I said before. And, yeah, and then J Miguel leaves to find his dad and has Johnny go with him. And, yeah, but anyway, that was the video. I know I skimmed through a bunch of details, but that was the video. 
Thank you, Johnny, for your hilarious. Thank you, Johnny, for your hilarious internet meme. But anyway, we'll see you next time when we review more Cobra Kai videos. Boom.